Hello and welcome each and all to the Lady Boss Show. I am Janice Smith and it brings me great pleasure to be your host. And I'm so glad you tuned in today. Can I just tell you how much you are going to enjoy our guest today? Karen David founded a company for the sole purpose of inspiring to inspire, get this, and motivate lovers of art and humanity. It's called the Eliza, Eliza, I wanna make sure I say it right, it's the Eliza K Design. She was born and raised in Toronto, and Karen has been an avid artist from childhood. Her first memory of, show, of showcasing her talent was doing a billboard for a restaurant that her father was currently decorating and painting. So can I tell you that we do have a whole lot of goodness in store for you today. So ladies and the men who love us, sit back, grab your favorite cup of joe, and spend a little time with me. And when we come back, we will have Karen David. Hello and welcome back to the Lady Boss Show. And as promised, I am here with Karen David, founder of Eliza K Design. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am so glad that you came. I am so glad that you came. And as you probably heard in the intro, you have been since you were probably you probably don't even know this probably from when when you're in your mother's womb you probably were, yes <laughs> right? yes probably from and then yes you were born to be an artist yes yes it's yes. been in the family and like um you know my grandfather he was actually a painter too wow so, uh, he passed it on to my dad and my dad has his own company wow so he's a painter and decorator so uh, when he uh, was working on a restaurant he asked me to because of the handwriting and the the whole calligraphy and you know the drawings put together a billboard uh, for a particular restaurant that he was working on at the time. And it was just naturally for you to do it. it at the time, it was just a natural thing, because you're a kid, so you yes. just don't think anything of it. But, uh, they, you know, he thought as, okay, this this will definitely work. He so. definitely wouldn't have asked me, because you know who my art is? I, I, I'm limited to stick figures. <laughs> if you need someone to do a nice stick figure, I'm your lady, right? Yeah. yeah but well, some people just have that raw, that talent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's there. The the, yeah. the eye to do it. Yeah. So the billboard that you created, I want to know what uh, is it? Uh, you know, do you still have that? Because that's a oh, collectible. No, that was long ago. That and at the time I wasn't even thinking it was anything. Yeah. Right? You just okay, God, that'll help you. It's not a problem. Wow. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't. What have did your it. dad say when he saw that? He loved it. Like, wow. He loved it. Right. So yeah. and that's where the enthusiasm comes from because they're always feeding us to make sure, you know, do what you want to do, put wow. your heart and soul into it. And, and so your yeah. dad was like one of your biggest motivators. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mom and my dad. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones to say, you know what, you can do anything you want to do. Put your mind to it. You'll always, you get it done. So, you know, you just instill that in your kids and, and, it's, and it just goes from there. So now I know that with all of that, you just, you just launched your business. So what was it that got you off of, let's say, say off the couch? I know you've been off the couch, but into the studio to do the to do what you love it's been it's been years in i guess i want to say in its in its infancy and it's always been i'm telling you know everybody oh yeah yeah it's coming it's coming yeah. it's yeah but it's to actually get up and get off and do it, it it's one of the hardest things and i think it's a part of what we fear just our own selves sometimes we get in our own way yeah, yes. so uh it it was just so how did you get out of your way what was that what was the one thing that said okay now it's coming to come and it's finally here. What was it? It was, was it the, the constant thoughts and the constant visions of I need to do this, I need to put this out there, I need to share this. Yeah. So it's, it is, it's just a constant uh, vision in your mind that says, okay, we have to do this or, oh, I, you know what, I can do this. Mm -hmm. and, and it just came to, like, to me that, you know what, we have to, we have to start sharing and giving back yeah. because, you know, allow other people to see that they're not alone and, it, it's easily done. Like if, as, as long as you want to do it, you can put yourself out there and you can get it done. And you said in your art you want to inspire humanity. <laughs> wow. Like, what does that look like? like tell me about that. Because everyone has their own uh, perspective when they look at art. We can look at the same piece and we're both going to see different yes. different things. This right? is true. So if 
if you know and in in humanity if you're looking at any type of piece of art or and because I think art everything is art mm -hmm. so when you're looking at anything if it can inspire you to motivate you to act do no better we we've, we've helped you know push the purpose along mm. right so it, it's just a matter of how how we all see different things just by looking at the same thing mm. and it that's really what what we're all blessed you know because everybody's unique in that sense mm -hmm. so those just to help inspire and, and push that whole process along. Do you think that there's an artist in all of us? I do, and, and it's funny you say that, because I, everyone, I believe, has a talent. So I can actually turn my stick figure into... S I'm not <laughs> saying that. Come on, just give, me, give me some hope. <laughs> so do you if think you that practice, one day, I, I, uh, that my piece will sell for it, a million bucks? You never know, uh, because there's stick figure um, photographs and art pieces out there that, well, that, are, that, right? that they do just as yeah. well. So. But you're right, though, because someone might look at my stick figure and say, you know, that they, they, they interpret it as, uh, somebody trying to get out of exactly. a bad situation. Exactly, and so that yeah. it could be that what might be the next million dollar piece. Yeah, I'm right. Draw my stick figure. I'm gonna <laughs> let you. Your next at your next studio, at your next um, say presentation, just put like upcoming artist Janice. <laughs> yes, come see Janice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. And whatever it sells, if it's a dollar or two, I'll give all the money to that charity. That is so cute. Okay. Okay. Call it, and I'll just call it the stick figure. Right. Make it very simple. That is cute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, we all have the talent, and the talent yeah. is in there with within us, and and that talent feeds your purpose and your mm. passion. So. You know, you just have to figure out what your talent is because we all have some mm -hmm. talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just want to know because I, uh, the our the viewers, you're gonna get a treat because you have some of them your art pieces here. So yes. absolutely, I want to know just you know just before we go to break, how do you get your inspirations to do these pieces? Like, what is it that inspires you? Is it just like wake up in the middle of the night and you just start drawing, or sometimes it's, sometimes it's just a thought that passes, and sometimes it's. Like I said, when you're looking at different pieces of art, you, you get inspired by that art and you elaborate on that piece of art. Uh, and, and there's, you know, other artists inspire you. So it's just a matter of, okay, you know what, this is what I need to do. And then mostly, me, sorry, mostly for me, like sometimes my ideas just come to me uh, in the fleet of the moment when mm. I am uh, have a downtime, let's say, mm. when, um, and it's just like one idea transpires into the next idea that transpires into the next idea. So it's just a matter of a series of... Now, some people say that uh, um, art is like, it's, it's, it's like, like singers, for example, the more pain you have, the more rich your song's going to be, the more rich your art's going to be. Yeah. Do you find that to be the same, like it's like the pain? Yes. That, that comes out in the canvas yes. that makes yes. it really deep? Yes, it, it definitely, depending on I, wh whatever you're going through at the time, it could definitely come out on the canvas, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a dark way or, mm. or, in, a, or in a light way. And, and again, it's how the person sees yes. it, right? Yes. So it's, um, but it definitely does play into, okay, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a heavy piece. Mm -hmm. So that it, 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 it's very similar in that sense. And, and I think, like what you just said, I know there's a lot of artists. Like, I remember buying a piece. It was called, actually, Sisters, I bought. Okay. From, it was one of her originals. She did not want to release that piece. She was, because oh. it, it, it came, because the thing is, it took her, I think, over a year to make it. It was like little yeah. dots. And she did not want to release a piece. And she was almost like, take care of my baby. Yes. You know, you because of your heart and soul. Yeah. Yes. You it's put your, your heart and soul. Is, is that you it. as well? Yes. It, it, and especially when you've taken the time and you want everything to be, you know, I, I, perfect. Nothing's perfect, but you yes. want it to be perfect. And you're just like, yeah, make sure that I can see her. Yeah, take care of yes. it. Put it someplace safe. Like, yes. Hang it someplace yeah. nice. And she even came to the house to say, okay. It's a, make like, sure I want yeah. I want to see where yeah. you put it. Yeah. So I, that, that's when I realized that it's more than the art. It's actually a part of them that yeah. they're releasing. So when you get an art from like like someone like yourself, right. it's love. Yes, that, oh yeah. That is love. Oh yeah. yeah. So you're putting your love into it, definitely. Yeah. So yes. we're going to get to see some of your love right now okay. when we come back. I'm excited and I know that you're going to be excited too. So make sure you come on back because we're going to take a look at some of Karen David's great design. So come on back on the other side. And we are back. Thank you for coming back to the Lady Boss Show. I hope you filled up on your coffee. We are here with Karen David of 
Eliza K. Design. Yes, design. And she has some of her pieces. I'm, I was going to say hot pieces, but <laughs> I'm going to save that, and you'll find out why in a minute. So the first one I want to talk about is Morning, the morning, morning Glory. Glory. Yes. Um, wow. Absolutely fabulous. Something like that, how long would it take you to do a, a piece like that? So that took me actually with time because I also have a full-time job. Wow. So um, I usually work on things in the evening after work. And that took me uh, a good couple months. Wow. What was the inspiration behind it, especially the name? Especially the name? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's... Um, Does the name come first and then the fold, then the art? or does No, the art... I usually do the art first and then the name then after. Then it speaks to you. Yes, You're like, mm, yeah. morning glory. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. And so I was inspired by um, growing up. I didn't care for flowers because my mom would always put us in floral dresses. <laughs> so I don't care for flowers. But then when I had to, um, you know, create a piece because I wanted to put something on the wall in my home, mm -hmm. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do a flower. Wow. So I, I, I came across a daisy and I said, I'm going to, uh, you know, change it a bit. And that's where the, the blue it, comes yeah. in, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I also, um, for the petals itself, it's I gorgeous. added the... Um, the uh, heavy medium so that it has more of a textured, the petals have more of a textured feel. Mm. And so that's where it comes into um, getting this four piece wow. set. And is this like raw talent? Did you go to school to define the talent or is it just raw, like you have, you know, it's just your natural ability to? It is a natural ability. I mean, you take art in school. Yes. And, um, but I went in another direction. But um, now it's coming back to me. And, Full time. Yeah, and um, I'm just happy that the raw talent is there. Yeah. yeah. Did you put it down for a bit and then start it back up? Or you always did something every day to... There's always some dueling happening yeah. somewhere, sometime, yeah. right? Yeah. But you're right. It, you do get caught up in, in everyday life. and But now it's more, more, like I said before, it's more evident. The visions are there. Like, let's just do this. Let's, like, let's share what we've got. Now, because this took you about, say, two months to do, yeah. is this one of the pieces available? Or is this just one of your, these are one of your babies <laughs> that you're not going to, you're just going to have for display to see? Right now, it's, I, I mean, I, I'm willing to let go of anything. I don't want to become too, too attached yeah. to anything. Mm -hmm. um, it is one of my favorite pieces, but I, I, I definitely will be willing to let mm -hmm. it go. And because I know that you, and I'm so, let me tell you, I'm really glad that you, you know, you started this business because th 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 this has to come out. Yes. And it has to be available to people, especially inspiring people that, you know, you right now telling your story about doing this and saying that you got, you know, you coming to come and now you're finally here. Yeah. There's somebody right now in your spot saying, wow, she's doing this? Yes. It's my time. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's my time. So I'm really glad that you're, you're doing this. Yeah, I'm glad that I can do yeah. it. Yeah. So are you going to do like art shows, um, exhibits and... Yes, that's the whole point is to put myself out there and really get to, you know, it, uh, showcase what, what it is and, and who can really appreciate it and have the art lovers really, you know, yes. soak it in. Yes. Right? Because everyone will, like I said, everyone's going to look at it differently. And yeah. yeah. So when you do your art show, you're probably going to let them kind of, it'll be interesting. Like, uh, let's see, just get to this piece. And this is why I'm going to say it's interesting. Because the next piece is called... Hot lips. Hot lips. But well, let me tell you, <laughs> before you said hot lips, my mind was going other places, right? And this really is some hot lips. I'm going to yes. tell you, some hot mm -hmm. lips. So it'd be interesting when you do your art shows to let people kind of wander around and let them define it. And then, exactly. And then when you tell them what it is, yes. then either if they're going to, maybe they'll maybe even have a little discussion with you saying, no, 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 I think you should change it to this because this is what I see, you know? But it would be good conversations to have. Yes, definitely. You know? And that's that's the whole that's the whole point is mm -hmm. just to engage and and get those conversations going. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's just a, you know like let's connect with each other. Mm -hmm. Hot lips. <laughs> now, I can't say it. I can't, I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. <laughs> How did the this come to be? This 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 piece right here. This piece was inspired um, from another piece that I saw. Um, through Pinterest, and um, uh, it, it just caught my eye. Wow. But I also uh, went a little further, and I added um, the gold flecks mm -hmm. Tell me. to to you know bring out the lips, mm. to to push out the lips, and I also added a, a epoxy shine to it so that 
uh, it really sticks out. It really does stick out. Yeah. Yeah, the, the epoxy shine. That I love your terminology, like with epoxy shine. And, like, you know, you have many ways of doing your pieces. Yes. And you know what I mean? Like, so you you, you obviously play with the, the different canvases and the different, you know, yes. I guess, pencils and, you know, the tools. Right. Right? Yes. So how did you decide to put all of that together, like in that design, you know, like the heartless with the gold that's coming out, and like, you know, was it something like you and you're sleeping and then that just kind of came to you? I know you said you saw the piece, yes. but obviously you elevated that piece, yes. right? Yeah, and so, it, it, I mean, to, to, uh, to get like the, the gold flex, it, it's just a matter of what I want to highlight to, to bring out, to make it different, because mm -hmm. I don't want to ever uh, say, just copy, copy a piece and I'll call it my own. That's that's mm -hmm. not that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. So, how can I make it different? And mm -hmm. that's why I would always make sure I, I like I said I credit it because it, it was a piece that I saw somewhere. So, mm -hmm. it it is an original piece from some somewhere, but I I added it a little bit further just to make it a little bit different. Wow. So my thing is I know that you have so many pieces that you're displaying, and they're all so different. Yes. What is like one of your ultimate favorite pieces uh, that you that you have? in your collection that you probably wouldn't let go? That I wouldn't let go? It, it's, uh, yeah, actually, yes, it's at home. And they didn't bring it, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case, I would say. <laughs> uh, that, but that's it was love. in a, it was in a very, it was in a spiritual mood. And mm. it's, it's um, really, it's, it's showcasing like mountains and, and sky, skyline. And, and uh, I added a, uh, the, the, uh, spackle paste, a crackle paste to the mm. bottom, so it gives it more texture, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not your usual colors, it's in a, it's in different colors. I can colors. actually see you painting, like, you know, it's like, can you get into the zone, and you're just, you know, and it, uh, when the time it finishes, you come masterpieces yeah. like, yeah. like that, and I think that's why your friends and your family said you need to, to reveal this beautiful, I like, guess. you can't keep I this guess. beauty to yourself. I guess, yeah. yeah. What's your biggest fear, though, in starting this business? Like, what do you think is going to be you know your biggest piece of promoting and selling um i think it's just really me being getting in the way of myself mm -hmm. um because i've been in my own way for a long time so it's just me overthinking and and uh, self-doubt the self-doubt will creep in yeah and, just well, say, and we all have it yeah you know like there's the good days and bad days yeah. you know and, yeah and and so like you said it's really you know there might be a day where you just uh, forget i'm not doing it. and the next day you have to say you know what no i'm i'm, I'm yes. still good i'm still good or you have friends that kind of say, you know, look, I was like that yesterday, so yes. you're going to be fine, you know, yeah, get back on the horse. True. 100 yeah, 100% true, 100% true. Yeah, so what's the next step for you, like in terms of, uh, I know you just got an Instagram right there, <laughs> so that's fantastic. <laughs> I think in your when you go home today, you should do the piece that is a keeper, the one that you just said, okay, yeah, so that yeah. people will now want <laughs> to tune in and see what that piece is that you're talking about. Okay, okay. So take a picture of that, okay. and then Tag me in, and then we'll have some good conversations okay, with right, that. Okay, all right, I'll do that. And I'm definitely going to be at your your first sh art That's show. That's so nice. Yeah, and I, I thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And for remember, I'm going to show give you my little stick figure. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. So send, you can send it along. It. Yes, right. yes. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get yeah, big money for yeah, it. Big money. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you can elevate it a little bit for me. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Make me look a little. No, good. I want the original piece. I want the <laughs> no. original piece. Oh, oh gosh. So. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> well, thank, thank you so you. much. It was a lot. Thank a lot you so of much fun. for having me. A lot of fun. I and appreciate I'm going to look out for more of your pieces. Definitely. Of the Eliza K Design by Karen David. I thank you so much, and I thank you for joining us, and I hope that you come again next time.